I'd like to know more about you. Yeah. I'd like to know more about you too. Just graduated. I'm gonna start my first teaching job. When I first met you, I thought, who is this girl? Girl? Okay, hey, nothing's changed. Yes, yes it has. I'm your teacher. I know it's not just me. Hey, you you feel like this is right for us too. That's not right. We just can't. I have to transfer out of your class. It's so hard to sit in this room every day and call you Mr. Fitz. Okay, I can't pretend like I don't know you. So your classmates don't suspect you've lost interest in your peers? You are so screwed. It, it's not what you think it is. Don't give me that look. I didn't pursue this, it just happened. And that makes it okay? Party? What? Ezra, she's cute. She's smart. I get it. There's no argument. But she's your student, man. That's not how I got it. It doesn't matter. When this is all over, she's gonna get her diploma, you're gonna get a pink slip. Anyone, you have to believe me. Well, I don't. Let's go. Go. Now. you or try to convince you of anything I, I know it's over I know that but I just I can't stand the idea of you walking around and hating me hate you the only person I hate right now is myself for asking too much of you seeing you out there tonight out on the dance floor having fun with guys your own age not sneaking around and holding up with me in my apartment to watch videos and eat one of the three things I can actually cook. Because... Because I can't take you to the movies. I can't take you out to a nice restaurant. And for the record... I can never hate you. Just can't go back to the way it was. Things need to change. Yeah, well they already have. Forgive me. No. Forgive me. You and I have is the most real and honest thing in my life. And would you go back if you could? If you knew that it would be this complicated, would you have even to that person in the bar. Is that what you want? To go back? No. Me neither. So, we don't go back. We go forward. Together. We started out high in this relationship so we could have one. You're never seeing Arya again. Ever. Ezra. Hey, I'm calling from Emily's phone for obvious reasons. Listen, I really don't want to think about us being over, but... You know, whether we are or we aren't, it's something that we should discuss face to face. So, meet me tonight at 8. In front of the clock by right now square. If you come, it means that there's still a chance for us. And if not, then... But we've been trying to make this work for a long time. And... And what? I, and, and, what? And, and as much as we love each other, I think we are deluding ourselves into believing that it can. Yeah. That's why I don't want there to be any misunderstanding when I tell you that I'm not taking the job. I'm the kind of man who would take this way out. But I know I'm not. We could have resolved this and moved on. But apparently ego is going to get in the way. Whose ego are we talking about? Arya, it's me. 
call me when you can. I love you. Well, we may have just lost the war. What are you talking about? I got fired today. Then will you be back? Where are you? If I can't teach high school in this town, or college, what's left? Do you have any idea how much I love you? Try. I can't stay away from you. <laughs>